Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain of that subscribe button so we can keep on climbing even further beyond the 1100 ladder currently sitting at 1,123 subscribers, and I could not be more grateful, ladies and gentlemen. You are killing it out there, and I really do appreciate all the support. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I wanted to look at the market because I do have a OTS uh, championship on uh, March 4th, almost said May 4th. Um, so I will have a deck profile that day, but I'm also going to be busy playtesting and I know I need to make a video and I've just been really busy playing Octopath Traveler 2. I finally got done with all of the character stories and it's such a damn good game. If you haven't played Octopath Traveler 2, you need to go play it like five minutes ago. Anyway, let's go and check out the market here. I want to talk about the pre-sales for Maze of Memories. I tend to make jokes about every set that comes out. Like, for example, Amazing Defenders is Amazing Dildos. Tactical Masters is Tactical... Uh, I think that was Tactical Boo Boo Stain. Darkwing Blast was Darkwing Boo Boo Stain. Um, so yeah, I, I don't have one for Maze of Memories. So let me know down in the comments what we should nickname Maze of Memories. Maybe we should name it Maze of... Maze of Monkeys? I don't know. Uh, okay. <laughs> But let's see, Barons are bought out, of course, for the Collector's Rares. Uh, Teardrop Rika Collector Rare, 90. Baron Ultras at 60. All these prices are fucking disgusting. Do not buy Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon for $40. You will lose your ass. Don't buy Dual Academies for 22s. The card's dog shit. Wind Up Kitten at 5s? No. Solemn Judgments at 5s? No. Um, the Gate Guardian stuff at 2s? Man, you can get this shit for a fucking dollar. Like, they're only super rares. And I will say, I'm glad that Konami made this stuff like only dollars. Uh, or, excuse me, only super rares, just to make them so much easier to get. Gate Guardian combined being the best one. We're going to be talking more about Gate Guardian later. Uh, Labyrinth Heavy Tank, two bucks. Psy Beast, that's fucking late. A dollar. Uh, <laughs> Psy Beast finna need a hall pass from the principal because it's, it's late as shit. Spellbook of Fates at dollars, sure. Deep Sea King Clay Camp, dollars, sure. Like, this dollar stuff is fine, but, like, if you're paying anything more than, like, a dollar for something on pre-sale, like, in the back here, like, no, you're, you're losing your money. Gate Guardian is a rare, sure, because why not, Sugar Boo Bear? Barrel from Different Dimension, one of my favorite cards of all time from one of my favorite decks of all time, 48 cents. Yeah, this is this is pretty good. Royal Decree is a rare, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Uh, what's going on with Sangha of the Thunder? Like, just all versions. Retro Pack. This thing is $14, are you kidding me? No, stop it. Oh my god, this thing just <laughs> off the face of the earth. It just shit itself. So it went from 22, and now it's down to 7. Mod play for 15. Oh, these are getting bought out. What the fuck? So mod play for 14, light play for 17, and then we're on up to $35. Yeah, no, don't do not do this. This is, oof. Yeah, no, that's that's rough. Uh, let's, let's look on over at Power of the Elements here. So things have kind of settled. I mean, 72 for first dead boxes, 60 on unlimbs, 32s on blues, 20s for the Pelerinos, 22 on Garua, Jesus, 16 for Ultimate Slayers, it's not terrible, um, Instant Contacts at 3s is not bad at all, uh, Kaleido Hearts at 2s, yeah, this, this set definitely, like, just kind of bottomed out, like, outside of Sprites or Garuas, like, there's really not much good back here, even Ultimate Slayer Starlights are 120, uh, if you remember, Huh, my reaction to playing an Ultimate Slayer Starlight, you're a true OG. Uh, Photon Hypernova, 77 on boxes, 70s on thrusts. We pulled like four of these uh, out of like, I think my half case or full case. Uh, Raysoths at 54s. Theosis's aren't 45s anymore, they're 38s. So instead of you paying $1,000, you're paying what? 54 a piece times three, <clears throat> 38 a piece times three. Arise hearts are 12s. You need at least two, so that's 24 right there. So, like, what is this? Uh, 4120 plus, like, we'll say 180 ish. And then 24. So, like, that's what? Like, four or 500 bucks right there. Not including Fenrir's, which are 40s, and Unicorns, which are 10s. Tier Element Cash Tier is 5s. Rise hearts are 3s. Yeah, you're still paying at least, like, $700 for this deck. Not including everything unless you need for the extra deck. Yeah, this deck's still expensive AF. Uh, what's, what's going on in the back here? Any, anything else important, or is it just kind of bad? Yeah, no, it's just kind of bad. Uh, the Gold Pride stuff is kind of going up, if you notice. Um, like, the Gold Pride Leon Ultras, they're 13s, because you can only get them from the uh, Premier, if you recall. Um, but the Gold Pride stuff just doesn't seem that good right now. Um, tactical Shit Stain. Uh, <laughs> Ariane's are $100. Yeah, here's the thing. Don't touch these collector's rares unless it's named Scapegoat, because literally, like... There's just no money to be made. Like, if you want to max out rarity your Labyrinth deck, I guess. But, like, 
It just doesn't seem worth it to me. Like, even Runic Tips at 68s, I still feel like the card needs to go to one. Uh, Welcome Labyrinth Ultras are $32. Labyrinth Labyrinth CRs are 30s. Jesus Christ. Regular Tips are 20s. Uh, scapegoat Collectors are, that was the other thing I was going to say. These are $15. Um, I don't see why you wouldn't want to have three of these, honestly, especially for GOAT format. I mean, I would kind of rather have ultis, but ultis are a lot of damn money. 63 on Tactical Master boxes is actually not terrible. So if you want Labyrinths and you're not going for like Max Rarity, Ariane's are 18s. I mean, it's not terrible. You're, you're going to be losing your, your money or losing your ass a bit rather on like the Welcome Labyrinths, not to mention the big Welcome Labyrinths. So do keep that in mind. Dark Wing Boo Boo Stain, $100 for boxes. Jesus. Fenrir's took a dump on themselves. Remember when these were 70? I remember because I bought mine at 70s. $40 now. Unicorns are 10s. Well, there goes my $14. World Sea Dragons Atlantises are almost $7, ladies and gentlemen. Remember when these were like $2.50 to $3? And I said, pick one up, like, just to fucking have. Like, if you have not gotten one yet, you need to get yours five minutes ago. This only has one printing, and all it's going to take is for someone to just abuse it at one YCS. And it's going to be a $15 to $20 card. And then you're going to be like, oh, your deal is expensive. Eh. You get in early, Sugar Boo Bear. You get in early. Uh, Magnuma took a dump on himself. He's at $7. Um, <laughs> Druid Worms are threes. Yeah, no one's playing Buy Steals anymore because the best deck in the room is Cash Tira. So you ain't playing no Buy Steals. So I used to say Amazing Dildos, aka Amazing Defenders, was a horrible set. It's actually kind of making a comeback. $55 for boxes. Well, basically $56. What's $0.07? Cents. These were $45s like a couple weeks ago. You're looking at pearly stuff being out the ass expensive. Like X pearly happiness CRs are 50s. Regular pearlies, like just the card pearly, is $27. Like the fuck? Like I understand that this, this deck is getting like a new card. I think it's Cyberstorm Access. But like does it really break the deck that much? Like I, I don't know, man. Like... Like, yeah, I want to play my EV deck too, but this is just expensive. Also, fun fact, Cyber Slash Harpy Lady has only ever had one printing out of Dragons of Legend. This card is going up. This card right now for a near mint limited is $18. And it going on up to $20. Uh, yeah, so what's a near mint? A near mint is $19 on up to $20. $20 for a really shit card from a shit deck. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, if you want a nice investment, this thing needs a reprint. Uh, maybe, maybe go spend $20 on, like, a near mint and just, you know, make your money. Uh, Dimension Fusion. So, I understand this card's banned. This card needs a reprint, especially for retro format. So, we're going to look at the Dark Revelation Volume 2 and the Invasion of Chaos. Dark Revelation Volume 2. Oh, uh, remember this brokenness. Pay 2,000 life points. Both players special summon as many of their monsters as possible that have been removed from play, aka banished. Jesus, so busted. Mod plays are 40s, damaged 40. Light plays are 53s, all the way up to $100. Uh, no, they cap out at 250. Uh, excuse me, 252, because they're going to fucking charge $2 for shipping. Okay, whatever, pimp. I mean, that that's just ridiculous. The Evasion of Chaos ones, you're looking at $20 for damage first edition on up to $30. Once this one's gone, they're up to 25 Oh, my God. <clears throat> first edition, hit me with this. Uh, let's see, 30, 30, 30 on up to 35. Oh my, on up to 40. Where are the, oh my God, light play is 45. Blech. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. That's, that's disgusting. Uh, let's see here. That was, uh, Dimension Fusion. So Gate Guardians, I want to look at this here. So Metal Raiders Secret Rare. This is like the OG. First edition is over $350. Blech. That's, that is a fucking atrocious. Uh, let's see. 90 for Asian English. Don't buy that. Uh, don't buy the Portuguese. Well, the Portuguese, I guess, is okay, but nah. $300 for Spanish. $300 for a Portuguese Gem Mint 10. I mean, I guess. I wouldn't want that. $350 for, plus $3.50 shipping. And it caps out probably like, what, $1,000? It caps out at $600 for a near mint first edition Gate Guardian out of Metal Raiders. Also, here's the thing. You don't want to play the OG Gate Guardian because, like, it's just a brick. And you're already playing basically three bricks in the deck because you want to play one of each of the, the pieces. I don't really think, at least at face value, I don't feel like you need to play more than one of each. Um, I feel like playing the OG Gate Guardian is just sort of semantics. Like, there's there's no reason to. Um, but it, it just boggles my mind that the card's as expensive as it is. Um, 
yeah, I mean, what, $2,000 for a box? Like, no, ain't, ain't nobody doing that. Uh, solemn judgments are like $20 in this set. Jesus Christ. Oh, so much. Wait, $2,000. That's for Unlim, bruh. And last but not least, Denko Sekas. If you want Denko Sekas, they're still very cheap. Um, it, it just basically says, fuck you to Labyrinth and Trap Tricks. And I fucking hate Labyrinth. So, yeah, you better believe I've got my three copies. Very, very cheap. Even if you want Secret Rares, you're not paying that much. They are going up. You can see that line. Whee! It's like a little roller coaster. Yeah, they're um, Light Play First Edition are at $7.85. Uh, if you want Near Mint, you are looking at eh, 8 bucks. That's still not bad. So, I mean, if you want your Max Rarities... You do use Sugar Boo Bear. They're on out of Light's Revenge. Um, put $14 for Big Eyes. Oh, this was the Exiton reprint set. Yeah, I remember this set. This set's so garbage now. This was the, like, Light Sworn reprint stuff? Ugh. White Aura Whale, $10. $300 for boxes. Ugh. 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 All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the market down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.